Hello everyone, this is Sudhir and welcome back to my class. In this video, you are going to learn about the divisibility rules. So, how does it help you? So, when we have a number to divide something like a 2 or 3 or 4 and it is somewhat confused and difficult to identify the number is going to divide by which number. If you know the divisibility rules and it is very easy to identify the number you are going to divide by which number. That means, for suppose if you have a number like 224. So the last digit is 4 according to the divisibility rule by 2 if the last digit is 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 then the number is divisible by 2. If you want to check you can check it and divide 224. In the previous class we have discussed how to divide the number. But suppose when you are taking the divisor as the 2 so you can take the 2 ones are 2 and bring down these 2 here so again 2 ones are 2. Next, bring this 4 here that is 4, now 2 2s are 4 and it leaves the remainder is 0. So that means this number 224 is divisible by 2. What we learn from the divisible by 2 that is if the last digit of the number if end with the digit like 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 the number is divisible by 2. So let us take some examples. For suppose 2020, this 2020 having the last digit is 0 so that it is divisible by 2. Similarly, 576. This number also is divisible by 2 because here we have a 6 as the in unit place so that it is divisible by 6. Now, if you take a large number like 237527, is this number is divisible by 2? No, it is not divisible by 2 because the last digit is odd number that is a 7 but here we doesn't have that either it is 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 so that this number is not divisible by 2. But suppose if you take a number like 2, 3, 7, 5, 2, 8. Now the last digit is 8 so that it is divisible by 2. The next one divisibility by 3. With the sum of the digit. So this is the very important point here. The sum of the digit is divisible by 3 then the whole number is divisible by 3. But suppose 21 21 so 21 means we can take a 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3 so 3 is the divisible by 3 so that the whole number the 21 is the divisible by 3 and you know very well that 21 equal to we write here 3 into 7 so that the 21 is divisible by 3 and for suppose we have a number like 531 so you can add this digit like 5 plus 3 plus 1 yes that is equal to 9 so 9 we can write as the 3 into 3 so that this 531 is divisible by 3 now one more example we can take that is 2025 this 2025 if you add the digits like 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 5 the sum of the digit is equal to 9 so this 9 is divisible by 3 so that the whole number 2025 also is divisible by 3 and the next one is divisibility by 4 so if the last two digits is divisible by 4 then the whole number is divisible by 4 so let us check how it is for suppose 2020 is 2020 is the divisible by 4 yes because the last two digit 20 the 20 is divisible by 4 that is 4 5s are 20 so the 20 is divisible by 4 then whole number the 2020 also is divisible by 4 let us take one more example if we have a like 3768, is it divisible by 4? Yes. Take the last two digits, 68. The 68 is divisible by 4. How many times it is? 4 once and it leaves 2 and take this 8. Yes, 4 7s are 28. That means 4 17 times it should be divisible. So that the whole number 3768 also is divisible by 4. Next, divisibility by 5. So, if the last digit is either 0 or 5, the whole number is divisible by 5. And we take the same example that is 2020. The 2020, the last digit is 0, so that the number is divisible by 5. And we take one more example. Now, 
so this is 13,575. The last digit is 5, so that it is divisible by 5. The whole number is the divisible by 5. Now we take one more example. Yes, 37,205. The last digit, again we have a 5, then the whole number is the divisible by 5. And one more example, 310 is divisible by 5. Yes, because the last digit is the 0, so that the number is divisible by 5. The next divisibility ruled by 6. So if the number, if the number is divisible by 2 and 3, then the whole number is divisible by 6. For example, if you take like 342, 342 is divisible by 6. So to check this one, we should check the two rules. That is, whether it is divisibility by 2 or not and whether it is divisible by 3 or not. Because 6 is a number, it is a product of 2 and 3. That means, if a number is divisible by 2 and the 3, then the whole number is divisible by 6. So that 342, the number of the last digit is 2, so that it should be divisible by 2. And the sum of the digit, that is 3 plus 4 plus 2, so 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 2 is equal to 9, 9 is that means it is 3 into 3, so that it is divisible by 3, then the whole number 342 is divisible by 3. So finally 342 is divisible by 2 and 3, so that the whole number 342 is divisible by 6. And the next one and very interesting it is divisibility by 7. So cross off the last digit, double it and subtract so repeat if you want if new number is divisible by 7 the original number is divisible by 7 let us take an example with a divisible by 7 for example 364 and here is the last digit is 4 and you take the 2 times of the 4 that is equal to 8 that 8 should be subtracted from the other 2 digits that means 36 minus 8 that equal to 28 this 28 it can be written as the 7 into 4 so the 20 is 28 is divisible by 7 so that the whole number 364 is divisible by 7 let us take with another example that is 2023 the last digit of 2023 is 3 now take the 2 times of 3 that equals 6 Subtract this 6 from the remaining 3 numbers that is 202 minus 6 that equal to it leaves 196. Now is 196 is divisible by 7 or not? So to find out this we should do the same process again. So take 196 and the last digit of the 196 is 6 and multiply by 2. I mean take 2 times of 6 that is equal to 12. Now subtract the 12 from the first 2 digits that is 90. So 19 minus 12 that is equal to 7. So 7 is divisible by itself. So that the whole number 2023 is divisible by 7. And the next rule is divisibility by 8. The last 3 digit is divisible by 8 and the whole number is divisible by 8. First suppose now we are taking again the same number that is 2020. Is 2020 is divisible by 8? Yes, we can check it. So the last three digit is 0 to 0 means 20 the 20 is not divisible by 8 because when we divide the 20 by 8 so 8 to 16 but it leaves the remainder 4 so that this 2020 is not divisible by 8 now let us take one more example that is 3124 is 3124 will divisible by 8 let us check it. First suppose the last three digits 124 if you divide by 8 so that 8 once 8 it leaves 4 and bring down this 4 8 is 40 so it leaves remainder 4 so finally 
this number 3124 also not divisible by 8 now let us take one more example that is this time 3128 yes now the last three digit 128 if 128 is divisible by 8 then the whole number is divisible by 8 so 8 ones are 8 by subtracting we get it 4 and take this 8 8 6 48 so reminder 0 that means this 128 so last three digit of the number is 128 is divisible by 8 so that the whole number is divisible by 8 so the next divisibility rule by 9 is if the sum of the digit is divisible by 9 it like same as the divisibility rule by 3 so for example now i am going to take a number like 340 so 342 just the sum of the digit here 3 plus 4 plus 2 that equal to 9 so 9 is the divisible by 9 so that the whole number 342 is divisible by 9 now we can take one more example that is 2025 so we can add the digit like 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 5 2 plus 0 is 2 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 so that the whole number is divisible by 9 and one more example 9711 9711 is this number is divisible by 9 let us check we can add this 9 plus 7 plus 1 plus 1 so 9 plus 7 is 16 plus 1 is 17 plus 1 is 18 this 18 is divisible by 9 because 9 twos we can write here so that the whole number is 9711 is divisible by 9 the next one is divisibility by 10 it's so easy the simple that is if the last digit of the number is 0 then the number is divisible by 10 like 10 20 100 500 2020 760 so so on because then here every number is end with the digit is 0 so that the number is divisible by 10 the next one is divisible by 11 if the difference between the sum of the alternate digit is 0 or multiple of 11 that means but suppose if you take an example like 5 6 2 5 1 that means 56,251 now we can check its alternate places that means ones hundreds and ten thousands so if we add these numbers like 5 plus 2 plus 1 that's equal to 8 next one its next alternate places 6 and 5 if you add 6 plus 5 that equal to 11 so the difference between these two numbers that is 11 minus 8 is equal to 3 this is not a 0 or this is not a multiple of 11 now we can take one more example that is 8 9 8 so now i'm going to take its alternate places that is ones and hundreds so some of these two numbers that is 9 plus 8 equal to 17 now the sum of the other alternate that means the tens place and the thousands place so this is 9 plus 8 is equal to 17 now the difference between these two numbers 17 minus 17 which is equal to 0 so as per the divisibility rule this number 8998 is divisible by 11 the next rule is divisible by 12 that means 
If the number is divisible by 3 and 4, then the whole number is divisible by 12. So let us take one example 3, 7, 1, and 5. So this number, the sum of the digit here, 1 plus 3 plus 7 plus 1 plus 5 is equal to 3 plus 7, 10 plus 1, 11 plus 5 is equal to 16. The 16 is not a divisible by 3. So that this number is not divisible by 12. So the condition to divisible by 12, it should be divisible by 3 and it should be divisible by 4 also. So let us take one more example. 2, 1, 2, 4. So is this number is divisible by 4? Yes, because the last three digit of the number 124, when we divided by 4 it leaves 4 3s 12 and bring down this 4 4 ones 4 it leaves 0 so finally this 124 is divisible by 4 at the same time we can check whether this number is divisible by 3 or not so we can add this digit like 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 and equal to 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 4 is 9 this 9 is divisible by 3 because 3 3 is we can write this 9 so the whole number 2124 is divisible by 3 as well as it is divisible by 4 so that the finally the number is divisible by divisible by 12 because the 12 is a number is the product of 3 and 4 so when we check this rule with the divisible by 3 and the divisible by 4 then the whole number is divisible by 12. So not only this number, for example, if a number is uh, divisible by 15, to check whether it is divisible by 15 or not, so you can take the product like 3 and 5. If a number is divisible by 3 and 5, then the whole number is divisible by 15. And if you want to check the number, the given number is divisible by 18, so simple, you can check the number is divisible by 9 and 2 because 9 twos are 18 and one more if you want to check the given number is divisible by 24 or not then how can you check very simple just you can take 3 into 8 because 3 times of 8 is equal to 24 that means if the number is divisible by 8 and the 3 then the whole number is divisible by 24 first suppose the large number has given and it should be divisible by 72 or not how can you check the 72 is a number it is the product of 8 and 9 so if a number is divisible by 8 as well as it is divisible by 9 so what is the rule for divisible by 8 yes the last three digits are divisible by 8 then the whole number is divisible by 8 as well as the, the sum of the digit is divisible by 9 then the whole number is divisible by 9 the finally the whole number because 8 into 9 is equal to 72 so that the whole number is divisible by 72 so don't forget practice makes man's perfect if you have any interest you can practice these questions and comment your answers and this is sudhir thanks for watching see you soon